Hey, how are you going? Um, just going to show you Never Meant by American Football off their first album, which is an amazing album, one of my Desert Island albums. Absolutely love it back to front. So do so a favour and check it out. You obviously like it if you're here, so good start. Um, so this song, um, it's got two guitar parts. Um, I'll show you the second one later on. That's in a different tuning again, but this one, uh, not in standard tuning. Um, there's no capo or anything, but from low to high, it's F, A, C, G, C, B. So you get a really nice open chord. Um, so for this first guitar part, um, with the lead uh, main melody, um, there's sort of three little lines. Um, but yeah, this the main one goes throughout the majority of the song. Um, so learn it and you're most of the way there. Um, so this one. beautiful melody um, and it's mainly your right hand that's just going to be picking things out and the, you only play on the G string and you just move up there so um, and I'll just refer to the strings as like low E, high E I won't refer to them as F, A, C or anything um, throughout um, but yeah, so this starting on open D and so open D and then on the B string, four, two, open and you want to pull them off. Then open G, then hammer on to the second fret. And then you play the B and E strings, just open. So that together so far. Then, sorry, then you play the B note, the B string again, sorry. So it's B, E, B, all open. Then you slide over two frets, so fourth fret, on the G and then open B E again so all together so far and then we're gonna go 5 7 on the G string and then open B open E open B again then we go 9 on the G string, then open B, open E, so all that together so far. And then to finish it off, we just go 10, 12 on the G string, and then open B, open E, open B. And that's the whole thing, and that repeats for the majority of the song. So all that together again. Um, so that goes for a good two minutes uh, from when it first starts. And it's also the outro section, um, so the vast majority of the song. There is a, a second melody line that comes in at about 2 minutes 13, um, which goes... Um, this one's just a little fiddly. Um, 
because you want to keep one note ringing out while you do a stopped note with your other finger, but not too tricky to get there, it's fine. Uh, so on the B string, 9th fret over to 11. And then on the 15th fret, with on the high E string, pinky finger, you just want to do two of them, the sort of staccato, so the note stops. But underneath that, you want to hold that uh, 11 on the B string. Then we go 12, 13. Do that again. This is on the high E string, 12, 13. And then 12, 9 on the B string. And that's uh, the whole thing. Then there's just one more simple melody, again just on the one string, just moving down. Um, so it's all on the B string this time. Uh, so it sounds like this. Oop, sorry. And what this is, uh, starting on the 12th fret, all on the B string. Just drum that, hit it twice. Slide it down to the 9th fret. Hit that twice. Slide it down to the 7th fret. Hit that twice. Down to the 4th fret. Hit that twice down to the 2nd fret. Hit that twice, slide back up to the 4. And then open B, which you can pull off if you'd prefer. And that's all of the first guitar. Cool. So um, the yeah the second guitar for um, this tune is in different tuning. Um, so without the capo, you have from low to high D A E A C sharp and D, um, but it's got a capo on the third fret, um, which gives you from low to high again F C G C. E and F again. So there's a really nice open chord. Um, yeah, so this second guitar first starts at about 31 seconds. Um, and the first bit for it goes like this. Um, so this just just keeps looping around. Um, so what it is, um, so just open, and I'll just refer to all the strings as a standard tuning, but they're in different tuning, of course. Um, so the low E string, um, and then with your second finger on the high E string, the second fret from the capo, and then just the B and G. Then with your first finger on the second fret on the low E string, and then on the B string, third fret, and second fret on the A string, uh, on the G string, sorry. So those two together. Then you move over to fourth fret on the low E string. And that's just open strings from the uh, high E string. High E, B, G, D. And then it's just the bass note again on the second fret on the low E. So that just yeah keeps looping around. Um, so that goes until uh, 1 minute 12 into the song when um, it just goes this open sort of droney chord um, 
And what this is, it's sort of a major seven shape arm on the high string in standard tuning. Um, but what it is, uh, the bottom two strings open, and then fifth fret from the capo with your pinky, then fourth fret with your ring finger, th uh, third fret with your middle finger, and then second fret with your first finger. And that just, yeah, plays on like beat one of the bars. Um, then there's a section I've sort of called the bridge section. It's pretty um, loose, the form of this song. Um, it's not like verse chorus. So I've called this the bridge. Um, the bridge section goes like this. So this one um, is pretty much all your right hand. You're literally only fretting one note for the whole thing. And that note, that lucky note, is the second fret on the D string. And then the picking pattern. Um, so it goes D string, B string, G string, high E, B, G. then you play the exact same thing except you just take you unfret that and it's just an open D string so exactly the same picking pattern um, yeah just literally the one note for that section um, fourth section um, is this. So this bit is not too many fretted notes with your left hand. It's again, pretty right hand, uh, just picking individual notes. So, um, and just the form of this bit um, is a bit funny. So just watch out for that, but I'll try and explain it as I go. Um, so it starts on the open A string, and then open D string, and then fourth fret, on the G string, then you play the open D string again, then the, that fourth fret on the G again, and then down a second fret on the G string. And then for the second bit, exactly the same thing, except instead of the open A to start, we play the open low E. That's open low E, open D, four on the G, open on the D, four on the G, two on the G. Then I play just with my, uh, the third sort of chord of this section, um, just with my middle finger on the fourth fret on the low E. It's just that, and then it's all open strings at the top. So four and low E, and then skip the A, but pluck the D. And just up and down, and get and finish on the, the G. Um, and so the form of this, it goes the open A, open E, that third one, open E again, 
that's the third chord. That's the first sort of section. And then it starts again with the open A. Open E. Uh, third chord. Open E. Third chord again. And then we get to the fourth chord. Which is exactly the same as the first two, the open A and the open E, except our bass note is just the second fret on the low E. So it's second fret on the low E, open D, then with your pinky this time. So that's four on the G, open D, four on the G again, and then with your middle finger on the two on the G string. And then the last bit is just all open. Um, so the low E, open, and then starting on the D, just those open, all those open frets again. So all together. mistakes but that's pretty much the form uh, for that bit and that bit starts at about 2 minutes 13 in the song um, and then the fifth part last part you have to learn um, is this bit back to uh, the first section. So this last section um, happens at about 2 minutes 58 in the song. Um, what it is, open A string, then 5th fret on the D, then open G, and then I think I'd pluck that 5 again, then 2 on the A string, Two on the D string, open on the G. We slide every that over three frets to fifth fret on the A, fifth fret on the D, open G. Then we just move our first finger back, so that's fourth fret on the A. Keep that uh, middle finger on the fifth fret on the D, open G. And then it's the same third chord that we play in that last section, which is the fourth fret um, on the low E, and then all open strings uh, starting on the D, D string. But we just go, we finish on the high E. Um, yeah, and then you just repeat that. And just the very last time you play that before you go back to like the main riff section, you just finish on uh, that second fret on the low E string as the bass note. And then back to And that's all of the second guitar for um, this song, which is just one of my favorite songs, one of my favorite albums. Um, yeah. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you, yeah, dig American football. Never meant. Give it a crack. Cheers. <laughs>